Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And you can see I've got a little mixed media going on here today. This is the cover that I started and you'll see me finish it in this video of a junk journal, a true junk journal, what I consider to be a true junk journal. Um, this is a live that I did on Facebook in a group called Junk Journal with Penny. I do lives uh, most every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you ever want to catch the live. And I just kind of started recording with both my phone and my camera so that I could do the live and then kind of have uh, this to show you guys just so you could see what I did. And I got a new app, which is helping me to do voiceovers, so I appreciate that. So welcome to VoiceOver Darcy. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I sound different when I do voices, voiceovers or not. But I know for some people it's preferable to me not doing anything. So here I am picking out pages. Um, I've got a template page, which is actually a page that was uh, one of my grandpa's. Um, when he passed away, my aunt gave me some of his stuff. So since this is a journal, I'm going to be keeping them. I'm, I'm using a page of his. And so I've just, uh, here I have, I'm tearing down some Amazon packaging recycled uh, to put in the journal. And a second ago, you saw me kind of put something on there. That was just so, oh, look, I ripped it. I was like, I don't care, whatever. And then that paper I decided was too thin. So here I've got a menu to stick in there, which is about the right size. And now I'm trying to figure out, I folded it a little bit off center so that when I put it in the um, signature, it the page that folds in won't go right up to the signature. It won't get in my way. So more pages going through. I just kind of had a box of old junk. And some of these pages I pull out and use and some of them I don't. Although I haven't sewn it in yet. I'm gonna sew it in this next Sunday. So you won't see me sew this in in this video, but tomorrow you will see me sew in another journal. So, you know, if you're wanting to see a, uh, if you want to see me attempt to <laughs> sew in, <laughs> that's not that hard. I, I have my little tricks. Oh, and I decided I liked this envelope, that it was pretty and would be fun to use. So I opened it up to use it as a page in the journal. And I'll, it'll have a nice little window on it. It's already decorated. I just will probably cover up the uh, the bricks. So yeah, one way to get uh, some free stuff, although it's making more paper in the world, is to, to order catalogs for the flower gardening companies, which I did, which um, I don't use it as much as I thought I would, so I kind of regret doing that. But that's, you know, it's up to you what you want to do. So I'm continuing to pick out pages. And just trying to decide. Oh, and I'm pointing out things like this might be cute to make a. Uh, oh, that book cover had a picture of a flower, which would be nice for either a tag or for making a um, altered paper clip. And I do not know why my camera seems to be moving. And I think it has to do when I. Um, it's not my camera moving. It's probably more to do with when I um, edit the video, I kind of zoom in a little bit sometimes so that you don't have to see the mess on the side. You just see where I'm working at. And I don't know if that is causing it or not, but, or if it's, maybe it's just because I've doubled, quadrupled the speed on this. I don't know. But uh, see, a second ago you saw, a few seconds ago you saw a, uh, some instructions that I used, and now I'm using an LL Bean catalog, grabbing a page out of that, which uh, it's not on video, but later I just kind of collage on that. And um, I also collaged on the page that I chose to cover my signature. So if you are new to junk journaling, a signature is a group of pages. Um, so. So I'm going to be doing a one signature journal with this. So I'll have one group of pages that will all be folded together and then bound into the journal. Sometimes you might have two or three signatures. So that's just the grouping of pages that go into a journal. Let's see what other terms might be new to junk journalers because people are looking for like a real junk journal, which any journal you make, you call it what you want. It's, you know. <laughs> 
Some people get up in arms about what it's called, but it depends on how you think about it too. I mean, if you think of a journal as kind of a junk drawer where you just put all your brain dump into it or all your little things, just different things, then, you know, you might call it a junk journal just because it's a, a place to keep all the junk in your head. <laughs> or you might call it a junk journal because you, you're using junk. So here I am working on the cover. I done one side so I could kind of practice and then I was thinking that was going to be the inside. But then I liked, I actually ended up liking the markings on the Amazon packaging. So this is one of those recycled Amazon packaging that has like the white little things in it, the white little dots of recycled stuff in it. I just like the way those feel. So I did a layer of gesso and like I said, I'm trying not, use, not to use Tim Holtz ink. So I am using the Versafine. I'm trying not to use Tim Holtz. Oh, no, I didn't say. I said that in the first time I started trying to do the voiceover. My goal in this, uh, for this journal is to not use any Tim Holtz products just because it's nothing against Tim Holtz, nothing against his products. I actually love his products and I like, I really like using them, but not everybody can afford them. They can be um, really expensive for some people and they're definitely not junk. They're not something you would ever throw away. So um, for the papers and stuff themselves, I'm trying to use stuff that was most likely destined for the trash. And then for the other things like the stamps are, I'm trying to just use recycle, um, Stuff I got at a thrift store. So those flower stamps that I used, I got at a thrift store. And then that netting, I can't remember what I got. Some packaging of some sort. And so now I, oh, I've decided I'm going to fold up the, the edges. So the unfinished edge I'm folding up. And this will be the inside of the journal. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I hate when that happens. So I've done some gesso, I've done some ink, and I did find that using the chalk inks, the Versafine chalk inks, and mixing some water in them, you can still use them the way you would use distress inks um, and get that, you know, in uh, smush, smush ink. We love to smush ink. I don't know about you guys, but I love to smush ink. It's fun. So I'm just adding clips to, because I use our glitter glue, which is good, which sticks pretty good. But when you have gesso on stuff, it needs a little help so I put the clips on there to help get that glued down and later on I sew it not on not on camera though um, okay what am I doing next oh getting more pages oh that Greg college typing book got that out of the free bin so I get to use that so it was free it would have gone in the trash nobody takes typing anymore <laughs> that was also uh, those the kids uh, that oh my goodness the the little kids page school page whatever it is that was also in the free bin so I, I get some good stuff out of that free bin and then I've got some calendar pages from a previous year and then I want to make sure that the birds were all on one page because you know they were together they needed to stay together finding another page to use which I do I think I bet I back this one not on camera but later on I do back some of the calendar pages because in case there's anything personal on there or sometimes there might be like a client's name on there if I had an appointment with them or something although I don't usually put their last name I know their last name um, oh and then this crossword puzzle thing was something my mother-in-law gave me that she got for free and it has some fun pictures in it too but I thought crossword puzzles were fun to use and you could even uh, just write across the crossword puzzle like not answer the questions but just kind of like write journal write on the crossword puzzle themselves if you wanted to these were more pages that were from my grandpa's stuff he was really into do he's really into cb stuff and so there's some circuitry and different stuff and some really interesting papers that i thought were fun to use in this journal which is my journal for me so yeah using some special things like that they've got his handwriting on them so I've got a multitude of colors in here. I've got some blues, some oranges, uh, definitely a little bit of purple, greens, more blues, because uh, that's what's on the cover. And some of this stuff gets covered up. So here I am putting the signature together. So like I said before, a signature is just a group of pages that's bound into a journal. And then that cover piece is a little bit thicker. 
and you don't have to have a thicker piece on the outside of a signature but since I had that I decided to go ahead and do that and then off camera later I did collage it so it looks a lot different now and I think oh I'm gonna okay so here what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and make that a tuck spot so I put the glue on there and put that down and then because it's a small tuck spot I don't want stuff falling out so I'm going to add that card, which will make it a deeper kind of a tuck spot so that things don't fall out. And I do end up collaging that later on. I can't remember if I do it on screen or off screen, but oh well. <laughs> it does get covered eventually. So I'm going to keep this as a flip out, but I'm going to add some stuff to it. I'm going to add a kind of a pocket uh, and also something you could hold on to when you flip it out. So I'm taking this box, cutting it down, as you can see. Well, no, you can't see because I keep taking the box out of the... I haven't even bought gluten-free muffins in a long time, but cutting that down to size. And then I'm going to also cover it. I don't know what I was doing here. That, oh, that's... There's coffee in that spray, but you can't tell. It just looks like I sprayed it with water. It just looks like I'm a crazy person that just sprays stuff with just water. <laughs> just that the coffee was not very dark. I don't know why. Because I added fresh coffee. But maybe because it was already wet. I, yeah, I couldn't find my... Um, I must have got rid of it. Oh, and I'm, I think I'm pointing out here how there's that really cool picture of the chocolate that I want to save to use later somewhere. But I'm just kind of using this crossword puzzle piece to cover the card. To cover the box thing here. So just covering that with some crossword puzzle. And I think I fold it over. Pressing it down with the card, smooshing it, smooshing it down with a card. So that because with glue you need pressure. I didn't get it. I didn't cut it straight. So it's kind of weird, but anyway. So I'm figuring out how if I want to put it on the outside or the inside. So I'm making this a pocket. So I just did the side and the edges. And I left a little space at the bottom so I wouldn't have problems folding that. And then, you know, with all that gesso, I gotta have help getting that glue to stick. Oh, I am gonna cover the back one this time. Good. So I did go ahead and collage a little bit on that back piece. Even though it wasn't very coffee dyed. And I was, oh, and then I had some other dye too, and I kept adding, um, food coloring to it trying to get a more brown brown and I got like a green and blue and pink like it went all through the rainbow of, of uh, muted colors especially after I added some black so yeah. so just collaging onto this piece and this just keeps the uh, anything I put in that little tiny skinny tuck spot keeps it from falling out of the journal hopefully and if I wanted to I could put another pocket on the front of that or I could just decorate it with like a bird or or something and I had that extra piece so I just kind of collaged it back behind there oh, see that didn't want to stick there so I had to add some more glue it's the gesso that gives us a little bit of problem with gluing stuff down if I use Fabri-Tac it might have gone better I don't know so now I've decided I need to reinforce my spine and so I just grabbed a scrap don't even know it doesn't really match even and tried to find my center of where I would put my spine and then tried to be straight but I think I ended up getting it crooked on the outside but it's all right <coughs> excuse me it's a junk journal we're not looking for perfection if you are looking for perfection you are junk journals is probably going to irritate you because you can't even get things perfect even when you try so, you know, just give up on perfection. If you're an architect, engineer, surgeon, okay, we want perfection. You need to have some perfection in your job. But in junk journaling, no, we don't have to have perfection. Letting go of perfection, enjoying the need to not have to measure every single thing. I don't like measuring. Do you guys like measuring? I'm not a fan of measuring. Most definitely not. Um, so yeah, just kind of showing how that pocket works. Now I'm talking about what I'm going to do down here. I'm going to look for a pocket to put down there. What did I end up putting there? I don't know. Let me grab out my book and look. Oh, I use an envelope with a big window 
But then I end up, oh, and then I have a discussion about whether I'm allowed to use washi tape or not. But since we all have like tons of washi tape, I decided washi tape was allowed. So I've got this window with the big, win I've got this envelope with the big window that I'm going to use for a pocket. I've got to cut it down so it fits on the page and then I've got to make it so that I don't show through the window. But then I realized later that I could have just gone around the back and it wouldn't have mattered how long that piece was. But, you know, yeah, that's when I realized it, I think. Then I'm deciding if I want to make it a pocket or a flip. <coughs> I went with a pocket. Um, did I go with a pocket or a top spot? That's a good question. I went for a top spot, so I just glued it on the bottom and the side when I finally put it in. And then it was pretty tight, pretty close on the bottom where the window was. Like, I glued it, but I was just like, I don't trust it. So you'll see that I do add some washi tape at the bottom. And then off camera, I went ahead and sewed the journal cover. And when I sewed the journal cover, that tuck spot got sewn nicely. So where I glued it on the side and the bottom also got sewn. See, I was trying to not use washi tape, but then I decided I'm, allowed, I'm, I'm, I'm giving washi tape an okay for this project. Mainly because it's a supply that we have tons of and need to use. And what better way to use it than in a junk journal? So yeah. I'm just gluing the edges. I don't care about the middle. Oh, it got sewn over anyway, so it didn't matter. So, yeah. I'm talking about... I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm talking... Because <laughs> uh, I've erased my voice from the uh, original. And this thing... Oh, my goodness. This thing was like... Finding the line straight is just going to be... It's going to be hard. It's... And I don't know if you can see where it was a little bit crooked on the top there. I don't know. Oh, maybe I do show where I... I don't know what I show. Oh, I was covering up Grandpa's address. He had this... He just put his address on everything. I know. He, had a, he had an address stamp. And he just liked to stamp everything with that address stamp. Bless his heart. So I was just going through and covering those so that um, when I'm recording, people can't really see what his address is. Although he doesn't live there anymore because, like I said, he passed away in 2019. So... So his address has changed to a uh, military cemetery in Cape Cod. Covering my dad's address there. Uh, that was actually, um, the, the Kaiser was actually, the Kaiser piece was actually junk mail that came to my dad here. Because my dad lives here. He's not here all the time. Like, for instance, he's in Massachusetts right now. Just because he hasn't changed his um, doctors yet. So I guess I've decided to add color to some of these pages. It's not showing up real good, but uh, they there is you can see it a little bit. So I've decided to add some color to these pages using the Versafine chalk pigment inks with some water. Just kind of do it like I do the distress inks. Kind of ran my finger through it so we wouldn't get little tiny ironing board shapes on the paper. And um, yeah, some of the color comes out better than others. Oh, that little camp thing. I think that was might have been some papers my aunt or my cousin gave me. Um, it was some event, so they were going to be trash, so I hold on to them, but they got some really cute pictures on the bottom of them, some little birds with, uh, oh, the circuitry, like circuitry on them, so yeah, I'm using my first fine chalk ink, so you, if you try any ink you have, and do it down on some glass like that, spray some water, and smush it, and see how it works, you don't know until you try, and then here's more of this. I don't remember where I got that from. It was some kind of packaging I pulled out, but I really, I really like it as a stencil. So I thought this was the perfect um, project to use this as a stencil since this is junk journal and I'm trying to use junk and trying to use recycled stuff. So yep, that's some recycled stuff from what I can't remember, but I had like three pieces of it. I'm pretty sure. I wish I could remember. <laughs> It'd be great if I do like a chicken journal or a barn journal because it's almost like the chicken wire kind of sorta. So yep. I'm I'm not sure why I made this a tall journal, but maybe after seeing Louisa Heinzel's journal, maybe that influenced me a little bit. Possible. Always possible. So yep, that was uh some shelves. I saved the instructions from the shelves. Had, had to pause real quick for a second there. 
Nathan uh, was making his lunch, and his brother was nice and brought him home a hamburger from the oh she the lodge last night. And of course, you know, to reheat his hamburger, he's got to take the lettuce and tomato off, and apparently it fell on the floor. So that was making him sad. But we have some baby tomatoes and some lettuce in the fridge, so hopefully he's able to work that out. Or he could just wash it off. He's a little bit of a germaphobe, though, and I'm, I'm not going to say that my floors are the cleanest thing in the world. I'm not going to say that. So, yep, so these are the pages. Um, I haven't bound them in yet. I will do that on camera, and hopefully you'll see that next week sometime. But, yeah, I just thought you guys might like to see the process of me making this journal. I'll do a flip through of it at some point. Now that I've figured out how to, uh, how I can record from my, my webcam for the live and record from my camera to show you guys later. So, here we go. Oops, just kind of blew in some little bits here and there. So, there's the junk journal so far. Oh, and yes, you get to see. Okay, this part was extra. I didn't do this during the live. This was after the live. I decided to add a little bit of uh, pattern paper to the cover. And I used some uh, Mod Podge as well to uh, just kind of protect the cover. And then I uh, forgot to put my brush in water. So, my brush is... I'll try, I will try the fingernail polish remover trick like I did with the other brushes, but we'll see if that works or not. It might not. Yeah, now I'm looking for my decoupage. I was like, oh yeah, I should probably do that if it's on the cover. So I added some pattern paper. Plus I wanted this to kind of be seen through a little bit more. So yep, the rest of this is just me finishing off the cover, I guess just with some pattern paper. I don't know if I like it better with the pattern paper or if I wish I had left the pattern paper off. What I might do is go back through. I might, huh? that's all right. I think I've grown, I think it's grown on me. And I did a little bit of splattering and, and uh, the bubble wrap. I got a little bit of spots on there with gesso with the bubble wrap later. I don't think I got that on camera. You know, I, you know how we do, we just kind of like mess around and play with stuff after we've worked on it but yeah but I don't know if you can see that like the square where that flower is and then the smiley face from the Amazon I just kind of like that for the cover originally I was going to put it on the inside and then change my mind but especially that the black block line around that flower which you can't even hardly see now I liked so that's it have a delightful day everybody see you next time love you